Hey folks, I'm just gonna make a quick video here since I've been fielding a lot of questions regarding um, how to run your unit tests when you're working on your code. So here I am pretending to be um, a, a student here and I've got this um, lab, lab two that I was working on and I just made some of the first um, attacks at task one and I'd like to see how I'm doing. So um, one of the things you can look at is what uh, GitHub is actually using and there's a, a file that drives everything that they do and that's um, it's referred to as a GitHub workflow and if you look um, there's a folder called dot GitHub and you can go in there really quick actually I'm not going to go in there I'm just going to use cat to dis uh, display the contents of a file but there's a file in there that you can look at so if you say cat and then dot GitHub slash workflows uh, slash cmake dot yaml you'll see uh, that there's a bunch of steps here and if you just kind of skip to the bottom here you can see the last few steps here so uh, I'm going to look at cmake build I'm sorry uh, yeah cmake creating the build directory and then cmake creating the targets and then running c tests so um, we'll take this each in, in, in turn here by the way these um, tail ends of these commands can be ignored so I'm just going to do the first part of it I'll, I'll mention what the relevant and important parts are so Firstly, um, notice I'm just in the directory of my repo itself after I cloned it and did some work on it. All right, so the first thing I need to do is uh, configure CMake uh, and tell it where to put all its build files. So that's going to be that first step, CMake. This I'm looking at, um, looking at this line right here, right now. Okay, so I'm going to do CMake um, and then dash capital B. Capitalization here is important. And uh, you can ignore those environment variables. I'm just going to say right here, the period, uh, slash, put it in something called build, all right, a directory called build. And then um, it's going to do its thing. This is basically what you see when you select your uh, tool chain in a code space. This is what's happening. And so this will just take a little bit here. All right, now the next step was to. Um, build the targets so I'm going to take a version of this command and make it a little bit different so I can just create the one target that I'm concerned about uh, so you again you can ignore this end one here it doesn't seem to matter much in this case so I'm going to write cmake dash dash build now this is two dashes and then the word build this is basically telling cmake where that build directory exists and it's in the current directory slash build folder and then I'm going to also say which target I wanted to build. And if you recall from the um, um, CMake list text file, there are three targets. There's a main target, there's a demo target, and in this case, there happens to be one called tests. Uh, the others usually are called Google hyphen tests, but this one just is just called tests. So that's the target I want to build. That's the unit test I want to run. So I'll say target um, tests. And now what it's doing is it's going to uh, in this case, download the Catch2 testing framework. Uh, again, this is a little bit different from others. The other ones use um, Google Test. This one's using um, Catch2. So this will take a while, depending on uh, how fast your connection is. Uh, mine's not the greatest here, but we'll see how it goes. Listen to a little Weezer as we go along here. It's still building. Or actually, it's still um, actually it has. It's it's downloaded all the components, uh, but it's actually building all the com components that are necessary to construct the catch two unit test framework. So that's what we see happening here. All these different little uh, pieces of the testing framework um, executable are being built for us. And this is what our tests utilize. Okay, so now that it has built the target called tests. And so now what we'd like to do is actually run C test against that. Um, so again, looking back at what we saw before, um, when I looked at that workflow file, the uh, last step was to uh, run C test. Okay, 
it also happened to run the the target itself as well um, and we can do both but uh, you can see C test is gonna is pretty easy to do but notice when we do this we're doing this from within the build directory all right so what we need to do then is go into that build directory and we could do a quick uh, look at what's here And you do, in fact, see this tests executable file, uh, and that's what's uh, actually uh, going to run. In fact, while, while we're here, we might as well just run that executable and see what it looks like. Okay, so that shows me that one of the tests failed. Uh, let me just show you again um, a different, uh, you know, running C test on this and show you what that looks like. So I could write C test um, dash dash extra verbose to get as much information as I can out of the execution of this test and see what that does. And here we go. So now we've got some more um, context for our failure. So I see here that uh, in the scenario where I was supposed to evaluate the code for task one, uh, I finished it. I said I finished it. And when we see if whether or not I de uh, assessed, I'm um, sorry, declared a, an array called grade book, we'll find that it was specified. Well, apparently I didn't. I, I named it something else. And in fact, what I did was I accidentally named it a grade book, but I used a lowercase b. So the name didn't match exactly. So I'm going to make a quick change to that file and um, save that. So I'm going to name that correctly now. I'm going to do grade book with a capital B. All right, so now I just made a change to a source file. So basically, I have to run that build command again and then run C test. So I ran the build command before from a directory up above, and I had to specify the build directory. Well, now I am in the build directory. So when I specify the build directory, it's going to be a slightly different thing. So before I wrote um, this, but now that I am in the build directory, all I need to do is say build period. Okay, that's the, the, the build directory is this directory. And again, I want to rebuild that tests target. And so now it sees a little change. It's going to build it again. Um, uh, looks like my change at least compiles. So let's see if we can run that test again. So now we see that all the tests have passed. So as you're working on this, if you want to do this from the command like command line like this, as opposed to uh, <coughs> pushing it out to GitHub and waiting for the action to run on a workflow, uh, you can do this locally as you're developing your programs. And um, so again, it, it now it's just this cycle of making a change to a file uh, to try to fix a broken test, save that change, come back to the command line, <coughs> rebuild the target, and then execute the target again. And that's your basic workflow for uh, doing your own unit testing verification locally. Enjoy.